Hi guys, Google Forms and Typeform are two services to create feedback, contacts, and survey forms. But which one should you be using? Typeform takes a different approach to forms. Its default style displays one question per page, giving you many customization options. With Typeform, we can use creative templates and form elements like payments options to make forms for various purposes. On the other hand, Google Forms is more like a questionnaire builder. It lets us make simple and easy to use feedback, surveys, and questionnaire forms. But other than fonts and colors, there aren't many customization options. So the question is, how are they different? Let's find out. For the content types, Typeform supports several types. With Typeform, we can add 25 form elements. All of them are free, except for the payments element. Typeform can create many form types with the help of all these components. Email phone number, website, question group, statements, end screen, file upload, drop down, multiple choice, rating, payments, and more. On the other hand, Google Forms has 13 form options. We can change them to fit our needs with expression validations. For example, we can set the short answer text field only to accept emails. The form elements available in Google Forms are short answers, paragraphs, multiple choices, checkboxes, drop down menus, file uploads, linear scales, multiple choice grids, checkbox grids, dates, times, images, videos. And for the templates, both services provide built-in templates if you don't know where to begin. Typeform has plenty of templates for just about any need. Here are the major categories of templates they have. Lead capture, registration, feedback, application, research, quiz, order, and more. There is also other category that has even more templates that don't fit neatly into those categories. Typeform templates all look gorgeous, and that's probably what sets Typeform apart from just about any other form builder out there. You can preview the templates to see exactly what they would look like, and you can actually fill them out. All their templates are designed with UX in mind. You are not going to find a lot of form builders that can make that kind of boss. Unfortunately, not all the templates are available in the free version. So if you want access to all of them, you will need to pay. Google Forms, in contrast, has 17 templates arranged in the categories of personal, work, and education. And for the dashboard experience and ease of use, like everything in the Google Suite, Google Forms also has a clean and straightforward interface, making it easy for anyone to use. Because of the simplicity of the design, creating a form takes no time at all. You can easily find all available templates through the dashboard, and you can search through them with ease. Typeform has a very user-friendly dashboard. It's extremely easy to create a form and to create what they call workspaces, where you can give specific users access to specific forms or sets of forms. If you have a large team, it's a really helpful feature, or if you have multiple teams or multiple clients. You can also connect your apps directly from the dashboard, which is a big difference from how Google handles their add-ons, which can be hard to find. Now for the conditional logic, here is where things get fun and complicated. Conditional logic is just where you can choose a flow for the questions. If someone makes a particular choice, then they go to the next question in the flow, skipping unnecessary or inapplicable questions. Google Forms, given its simple nature, has a fairly simple conditional logic editor. However, any conditional logic function is going to get complicated fairly quickly, so expect to spend a lot of time setting up your conditional logic. This is because you have to set the logic for every single field on the form. So the longer your form, the longer this is going to take. The conditional logic of type form is very similar in the way it works. But what sets Typeform apart is that you can look at a flowchart visualization that makes understanding exactly how the conditional logic works much easier. You still have to enter in your if-then statements, but you can move the fields around on the flowchart view and quickly connect or disconnect fields from each other. All in all, it's a great conditional logic editor for simple and complex forms alike. For the integrations, Typeform provides integrations with prominent software and service providers like analytics and reporting, customer support, email marketing, lead generation, sales and CRM, and much more. Here is a fun fact. 
Typeform supports Google Forms as an integration, so you can use bots if you like. There are so many integrations that you should search for them here. You have also Meg, and Meg is a powerful integration platform that would allow you to connect different apps without having to write a single line of code. With Meg, you can connect Typeform with over 1000 apps in minutes. Links in the description. On the other hand, Google Forms doesn't support integration with third-party apps alone. You can add images or documents from the drive and attach YouTube videos, but that's about it. But again, with Mac, we can integrate it to more than 1000 apps like Trello, Slack, and Asana. For the form sharing options, of course, we can scatter any data until we don't share the form. Typeform offers more sharing options than Google Forms. We can share a form through a link, QR code, or embed it on our website. The app offers many customization options in terms of embedding forms. We can set the form's width, height, and transparency in the embedded HTML tag. Moreover, you'll find the following embed options, standard, pop-up, slider, full page, pop-over, site tab. The paid version of Typeform allows team collaboration. Depending on the selected plan, it supports adding users to work on forms. In contrast, Google Forms is not very flexible regarding sharing and collaboration. You can access all the sharing and collaboration settings by clicking on the Send button presents as the top menu bar. It allows three ways to share a form, email, link, embed, and you can embed the form on your contacts page to gather the form submissions. For team collaboration, we can add editors to our forms through emails. Editors can change permission and share. For the reporting and analytics, as you have come to expect, Google Forms has basic functionality, and the same can be said for its native analytics. You are going to be able to see some net charts and graphs of your collected data but it's not super useful. You can easily download your responses to an Excel spreadsheet or into Google Sheets where you can set up some more complex visualizations of your data. And if you don't mind using some works around, you can even connect your form to Google Analytics. This allows you to see your visitors to your forms, your conversions and other useful data, like where your visitors are coming from. Type forms analytics are more robust as you would expect from a paid form builder. You only get access to them with the paid version, but you can do much with Typeform without paying for it, so that's to be expected. Typeform has a lot of integrations, including Google Analytics and Facebook Analytics. You can get really granular with your understanding of your audience, which, depending on how large that audience is, may be very important for understanding conversions. Now for the pricing, like other Google Swiss products, all Google Forms features are free forever, although the Google Forms logo remains on your forms. There are no premium plans in this too. You won't pay a single dime to create forms, questions, and responses using Google Forms, unless you are going to be storing a ton of data. However, you can subscribe to Google Workspace, which offers access to additional online storage and other Google apps. So Google Forms is free to use, all this with no ads constantly seeking your attention and click. Amazing. Type Forms free version is essentially useless as you can only get 10 responses each month. You are definitely going to have to pay for it if you want to get any functionality. There just aren't any use cases where 10 responses in a month are going to be enough. Even with the basic plan, you are only getting 100 responses a month, which may be enough for a teacher who sets up quizzes with type forms, but for most people, it's just not going to be enough. Essentially, type form is overpriced. You need to have a really good reason for choosing it. So, choosing between Google Forms versus type form depends on your business and your needs. However, if you are a large organization and you have the cash to spend, not to mention the need to have some really beautiful, really high conversion forms, then type form is probably for you. Sure, with type forms, you can imitate type form forms and put together one question per page forms, but type form simply does it better and with more style. 
So if Duke Design is a top feature on your list, then go with Typeform. But in the vast majority of cases, Google Forms just makes more sense. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.